live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. What is this? This. This. And this have in common? Stick around, you'll see. Everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Today, I'm going to be taking... This is one of my favorite shakers right here. It's from Drunken Chef, and it is called the uh, Go Ghostly Shadow. Okay? It only comes out, and he only has this out in October, and i tell you what. Very good. This is one of my favorites that he has. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be making an injectable for my beef today. I'm going to be taking some beef and I'm going to inject it, marinate it, and let this sit. Now, I don't know if Marie's going to want to partake in this because, you know what, this stuff is got a little heat to it. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking put a cup of oil. Now I'm using avocado oil today um, just for the fact that it doesn't have that, it doesn't have a taste to it. You know, I'm going to add a little bit more. Now to me anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't, have, it doesn't have a strong flavor. Uh, olive oil will have a, have a flavor to it. All right, I'm going to mix this up and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, as you can see, there's the mixture right there. Now, if you remember back in time a little bit, and we're gonna go back in time here, um, everybody used to do their marinating and, and stuff in, in wishbone Italian dressing. This is basically what I'm doing, only I'm gonna use this as an injector. I'm trying to break down the salt, the pepper, and, and, and the ingredients that are in this blend here, okay? Just so it'll pass through the injector. No other reason, okay? but to get it infused into it. But now I'm gonna add, now I had said well, ways back that I was gonna show you some cooking techniques I have with red wine vinegar. And this is part of that. Okay, put this in here. And yeah, if you wanna get crazy and say, uh, well, you're just making a salad dressing. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much right. Okay. The chuck is in a cry vac, okay? And it's still semi-frozen, but I'm gonna go right through the plastic. Okay, you can see I already have some injected into it. Now this is more or less like a marinade type of thing, okay? But I'm gonna try to marinate it from the inside out. Okay, a bit more over here. Here. Now I'm going to just do inside the bag. Okay, now that I've taken and chopped most of this in here, now this is what is left. Okay, now you can see it doesn't completely break down, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more avocado oil to it. Okay, and I'll drizzle in a little bit more of, see there, a little bit more of the red wine vinegar. No special brand, okay. Just that uh, Regina, okay. And the seasoning and everything else like that. This is also going to go into the refrigerator and stay chilled. And then tomorrow, when I go to put this into the smoker, this right here will get coated, rubbed, massaged into the meat. All right. So, hey, Mr. Chuck, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, what a difference a day makes. It's the next morning. Um, I got the chuck roast. I mean, it looks really good. I was planning on putting this out in a smoker, but the wind has changed. I get the wind blowing directly at me, high winds. Uh, in fact, there's a high wind advisory out here in Las Vegas. And the problem is, it's not so much the wind, because it is an electric smoker. It does maintain the heat pretty well. It's the dust. I got a ton of dust blowing up, and I, I don't want to eat a, a go through all this this work here and to wind up having a gritty dirty piece of meat so um, we're going to um, 
switch things up a little bit. I'm going to do it inside uh, in my oven. Uh, I'm going to do it in my Dutch oven. And uh, let's get the show on the road here. Okay, there it is. I mean, it, it, it looks perfect. Uh, let me bring it up to the camera a little bit here. Now, like I said, this is like back in the old, back in the 70s, I guess it was. Everybody was doing um, wishbone Italian dressing marinade. I mean, they were doing a lot of chicken with it, a lot of beef and pork. And you know what? It had a nice flavor to it. So what I did was, uh, just to recap a little bit, I took a little bit of uh, Drunken Chef's uh, ghost, Ghostly uh, Shadow. And he only puts this out in um, October. Like I, like I keep saying, this is not a commercial. But it's good stuff. I like this. But what I did was, if you can look in here, it's you know, it's, everything's coarse, okay? That's what I like about it, all right? But what I did was I broke it down in some avocado oil. I put a little bit of red wine vinegar in it, and I ran it through my little blender just to bust it up a little bit more. So I was able to run it through the injector, okay? Now I got the Dutch oven heating up on the stove. I'm gonna put a little sear on the outside of this, and then that's gonna go into the oven until it is pork tender. Okay, there's nothing else going in this. This is just the meat with the rub. The marinade injected, okay, and I have no onions, no nothing in it. This is just going to be the meat. I just flip them over, let me sear on that other side. I mean, the aromas are uh, wow, beautiful. Okay, hey Chuck, I'll talk to you later. Okay, a few hours later, let's see what we got here. Oh, baby. Hello, Mr. Chuck. Let me get out. Take my tweezer here. Yes, sir. It is baby done. Okay, I'm gonna cool down a little bit. I'm gonna slice this bad boy. We're gonna have some dinner. All right, it's still a little warm, but I just want to slice some of this off. And I got to tell you, this is fantastic. Okay, I got to let you know right now, I'm going to bust this in the middle here. This is, like I said, fork tender, pull apart. I'm just going to put it over here. Now, this is it comes out just like a true... Um, like a stew, like a stew type of thing, but this thing is got a heavy crust on the outside, and it's juicy. I mean, the flavor goes completely through. Um, all right, I'm going to slice this up, and we're going to sit down and have a little something. Oh, baby. Yeah, the flavors were off the charts. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. You know, if you're subscribed to a channel that sells products or has products for sale, check them out. Help support them. Uh, that's what makes the world go around here on YouTube. And I appreciate it very much. I'm Tom Garber, the Keto Cook. Catch you next time.